hey welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to customize squarespace forms with css editor let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here on squarespace just click on the create account option in the upper right corner and from here, you can simply continue with Google. You can continue with your business or working email. Or you might want to click the more options so that you can continue with your Apple account, your Facebook, and by following the on-screen instructions, you are all set. Now, customizing Squarespace forms with CSS can offer several benefits and opportunities for improving the functionality and aesthetics of your website. Now, some people allows them to customize the Squarespace forms to match their brand's color, font, and overall design aesthetic. Now, it helps maintain consistency across the website that you are building and reinforces your brand identity. Now, by customizing form elements such as input fields, buttons, and error messages, you can create a more intuitive and visually appealing user experience. It is clear and attractive forms can encourage visitors to engage with the website and complete desired actions such as signing up for newsletters or submitting inquiries. Now, for us to be able to customize the Squarespace, you need to go to the upper right corner. Depends on the uh, dashboard that you are working. But in my case, in the interface, I would need to click on the account dashboard. And from here, I need to choose the website or the built-in domain that I'm going to use for this video. Now, in this situation, I might want to click on the website. This one, click on it. And from here, you will be directed to the website editor. Right? And click on the edit option. Now, once you're here, now, once you are here, if you have coding knowledge and want to customize your site beyond the built in styling options, you can add something or a, a CSS code using the CSS editor. Now, for you to be able to access that, you need to go to the left side panel of your dashboard, go to the utilities, and then click on website tools. And from here, you can click on the custom CSS. And from here, basically, you can play around with all these custom codes so you can change the font colors and background and all those changes that could not potentially harm your site now from here say for example this is the uh, squares uh, form this one right here let's click on the uh, subscription form see for this one now i'm gonna put some uh borders here or a custom code here see see what happens right now you can also click on the open a new window if you are more comfortable with that and from here click on the get started option right now you can paste all of these custom code all you want here in the CSS editor and eventually once you save it you would see that the changes would reflect here in the uh, website all right let's click on it as you can see the changes have been reflected now if you're happy with that click on save just wait a moment and then you can also open the new, new window you can add as much as code as you want right here and all of these is going to be reflected to your website that you are currently working on. Now, in the event that you are lost during the whole navigation process, just go here in the uh, Squarespace Help Center. This is a guide on using the CSS editor, especially if you don't have any coding knowledge and want to customize your site beyond the built-in styling options. All right. And again, you can add CSS code using the editor that we have shown earlier. But please do read and understand all of the information here it's very um straightforward and as you can see you can add css code as we have done earlier by opening the uh, custom css panel these are the line numbers but be sure 
if you encounter any syntax errors in the uh, CS code, basically um, the changes would not apply on the uh, reflected website. Now you can also upload the files, which is optional. Some of my uh, colleagues or clients are use the click custom files or manage custom files under the uh, CSS editor. You can also click add image or fonts or drag files into that area to upload that file. Now, when you click on this one, you can also have like a custom files right here. Now we can simply click on the add images or fonts, right? Now, if we added some images here so that we can customize your Squarespace forms to make it more active and engaging, right? So here is the file that's currently uploaded. Or you can also add fonts here. Click in this section again. Now, essentially, once you do that, you can remove the file if you want it or you can replace it. But basically, the image has been added here in the... Uh, custom CSS now as you can see there's gonna be a syntax error on line 25 say for example this one so that's a good indicator there's a problem within the custom files CSS editor but you don't have to worry because normally the syntax error are just given here just a quick reminder that there's you encounter any problem it's not a big of an issue now once you are happy with it all you're gonna do is click on save so I thought you would be able to see the changes that has been reflected to your website, right? And again, do not hesitate if contact the Squarespace Support Center. Just choose a topic. And from here, a live representative will be more than glad to help you with customizing your Squarespace forms within the CSS editor, right? And I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.